selection of cows like I do, then you want to pick a cow with the most ups and the least downs to show. A good way to learn doing this is to learn the body parts of the cow. These are the body parts of the cow. Let's start with the head. This is the pole. These are the horns. This is the face. This is the bridge of nose. This is the muzzle. These are the eyes. These are the ears. This is the neck. And this is the jaw. Now for the real body parts. We have the dewlap, the brisket, the chest floor, the heart girth, the point of shoulder, the point of elbow, the chine region, the loin region, the rump, the ribs, the barrel, the hooks, the pins, the tail head, the tail, and the switch. We have the thigh, the flank, and the thorough. Now for feet and legs, we have the knee, the dew claw, the pastern, the hawk, and the hoof. This is the Dairy Unified Scorecard. This is what we use to judge cows. It consists of four different sections. The frame, which is worth 15%, dairy strength, which is worth 25, rear feet and legs, which is worth 20%, Utter, which is 40%, for a total of 100%. The frame can be broken down into several more parts. The front end, which is the strength of the shoulder. The back, which you want to be as straight as possible. The rump, which is everything in between the hooks and the pins down to the thigh muscle. The stature, which is how big the cow is. And the breed characteristics is what you want the cow to look like. The parts of dairy strength are the skin, the neck, the withers, the wide chest, the depth of rib, the barrel, and the thigh. The part of feet and legs are the movement, the hawk, the pasture, the feet, and the bone structure. The parts of the udder are the udder depth, you don't want it to be below the hawk, the, the rear udder attachment, the rear udder, the fore udder attachment, the fore udder, the teat placement, and the suspensory uh, ligaments. When you're choosing your cow to show for the summer, you should ask yourself some questions like, what breed do you want them to be? How big and what age? If you're an average kid looking for an above average cow, you should definitely take these questions into consideration. Take Ben here, for instance. I'm an average kid who's looking for an above average cow. What type of breed do you want to show? Hmm, a brown Swiss. Thank you. What age do you want them to be at showing? Hmm, I want a cow that's about a year old. And how big do you want them to be when you're showing? Go. Probably about this big. Two cows to choose from. I like Sammy because of her dairiness. This cow's legs are not as good as Sammy's. I chose Sammy as my show cow this year. That's a really good choice, Ben. Congratulations! Well, I hope you learned a lot about the body parts of the cow because it's going to be very important during showing. Well, that's all I have to say. See you next week. Wait. One, two, three, go. I saw the light, I saw the light, no more dark. Clippers! I'm an average kid looking for above average cow. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a... <bo> <laughs> I'm up above average. <laughs> I can't sleep my mind. I'm average cow. <laughs>
Okay, look out. Okay, ready, Ben? Go. What? I pressed the button. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, you did? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm an average kid who's looking for... Uh, okay, just, just say it. I'm an average kid looking for an above average cow. My mind goes blank. I'm an average kid looking for an uh, above average cow. For I'm an above average doll looking for an average kid. Hi. 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 Hello. I, I learned something. I learned that cows burp. 